Hey guys, welcome back to Lawrenceville Garage. This is Andy. Have you ever been working on a project and you needed a special tool? It's not even an expensive tool. You just don't happen to have one. I ran into this the other day. I was putting a fuel pressure gauge on the fuel rail of an LS motor. And the, and the gauge fits in place on the fuel rail on the intake manifold where the Schrader valve goes. And in this case, you need to remove the Schrader valve. Easy enough, right? Well, it is if you have the right tool. How many of you have a Schrader valve removal tool in your toolbox? I didn't, so I'm guessing you might not either. Anyway, let me show you what I did to fix the problem. Okay, this is a Schrader valve. Now, this happens to be in a tire valve, but whether it's a bicycle, motorcycle, a car tire, a fuel rail, they all use the same style valve. I didn't have a special tool to get this little core out. And the core, the core looks like this. But what I did have was a bunch of screwdrivers that uh, I no longer need. I got a whole drawer full. So I picked up one of my least favorite screwdrivers and I went over to my bandsaw and I just cut the end of the end of it off. It was a flat blade screwdriver about this long. Let's cut the end off to where the shaft is round. And then I turned it sideways, held it down against the uh, base, and ran it through the bandsaw to cut a notch. Now, you want to cut it so that it's deep enough so that it goes over the valve itself and reaches the base. Now, if you look really close at the base, it's got little flat area. This area is flat on either side of the valve. On the, see? And this will fit easily right over that. So this took about 15 minutes to make. One cut, one grind down the middle, then I got on my, uh, my grinder just went around the sides to kind of smooth it down a little bit to make sure it would fit so that it'll easily go inside of a valve, just turn it until it seats, and pull the valve out. That way I can insert the uh, fuel pressure gauge on this LS rail. But in putting it back, it's uh, very simple. Just put it back in. Use this to turn until it snugs up like so, and it's good. So that's my cheap tool for the day that took a few minutes to make on a screwdriver that I probably didn't ever buy, but somehow I found it, and now it's a useful tool the next time I need it, assuming I can find it when I need it again. So I hope you found that tip helpful, short and sweet. If you need one, you probably have the, the makings of the tool in your shop already. Just look in your garage, look in your, your toolbox, find an old screwdriver that's not very big. And with a few minutes work on a saw or a Dremel or a little, little uh, power tool like that, you can make the tool that you need to fix an issue so that it doesn't stop you in the middle of a project where you have to run to the store and buy a tool. And uh, there's no need to spend an extra five or ten bucks for a tool when you've already got something that'll work in your toolbox. So, so I hope you learned something from the video. Appreciate your thumbs up. Catch you on the next video.